the plumber from the plumber's truck. Um, a few times out there on the social media, people have reached out to me, especially during this pandemic time, uh, about bidets or bidet toilets. And um, I'm not a fan of a full bidet toilet. And this is why I say this. Uh, a full bidet toilet needs to be done unless you're doing a major remodel on your house. Meaning you're remodeling the bathroom totally because a full bidet toilet needs hot and cold water plumbed to it. And, uh, and that's really not necessary. I mean, unless your tushy is that cushy <laughs> that you need hot water to clean yourself, um, then by all means call me and I'll put in one of them units um, and I'll replumb your house to do it because I gotta make money somehow and uh, I will take your luxury money to do that. But finally, um, they sell bidet seats that attach to an already existing toilet and there are many makes and models and I will tell you this, you do not have to get an expensive one. 30 to $50 range. There are so many of them out there. I'm not going to name name brands because I'm not promoting a name brand. They all are the same. I put in so many of them, different brands, high-end ones, low-end ones. Uh, Toto makes one, and that's a very high-end one. And there are ones uh, that are lesser in the $20 to $30 range. It wouldn't take you long to find them. But here's what I got to tell you. There are ones out there that are two pipe ones so you can have hot and cold water. You can't really have one of them in a standard toilet again because you don't have hot water rough to your toilet. You could drill a hole through your cabinet and run a supply line from the sink water, but that's just ugly and tacky and not right when the toilet water already is cold and certain times of year is warmer in the summertime than it is in the wintertime. Um, and those systems have the, all the bits in them to connect to your existing plumbing. You just shut off the water, um, connect it to where the toilet supply line currently connects to, and then the current supply line connects into that mechanism that feeds the toilet bidet seat. And the toilet bidet seat, go, you take your toilet seat off, you put your new toilet seat on, you put your toilet seat back on after you install the bidet seat function and it usually has a knob or dial for the amount of water you want it to be squirted on your tushy to make it nice and clean. Um, I know it's a new way and in Europe it's bidets have been very popular for a long time but here in the U.S. not so much unless of course you've been to Europe and you've used a bidet and then you're like oh I like it in my house but in really um, 30 to $50, you can get an excellent one. And uh, if you call me to install it, it's usually just a service call. Most of the time, you don't need any additional parts. Like the thing you might need is a new valve because they don't. You might have an older style one that cannot use the bits that come with it because it is modern. Um, but not a big deal. Um, average one, 200 bucks installed with parts. If, if not, it would just be a service call. So a service call, 155 and you're out the door. Um, seniors save $20, and a repeat customers, of course, save $20. So if you want a bidet seat, and it's something you're thinking about, and I hope that explains the basics of it, um, holler. Jeff the Plumber from a Plumber Truck. Peace and love, everyone. Have a great day.